A new school year has begun in Peoria, and District 150 Superintendent Sharon Desmoulin Karat is optimistic new programs to combat chronic absenteeism and phone use will be successful. WCBU's Cameron Cutinello reports. One of the newest changes in Peoria Public Schools District 150 is the use of yonder pouches to lock phones away during the school day. Karat says the goal is for students to be less distracted and more present in the classroom. She says one student did cut their pouch open on the first day, but other than that, there weren't any major hiccups. Students who damage their pouches will have to pay $30 to replace them and face disciplinary action. Karat says they're working to make this a permanent change in the district. As it relates to the implementation, we have to be consistent, we have to be firm, and we have to be fair. Um, we cannot, you know, relax on the brakes. It has to, because it's that serious and important. She says there are exceptions for students who use their phones for medical reasons, such as tracking medications. Karat also says the integration of Quest Charter Academy students has gone smoothly. She says they've hired an employee from Quest to be a case manager for the students. She's going to track every last one of them, um, wherever they are, and um, attendance and course pass passing. How are they doing with their, their schoolwork and then um, behavior as well. And uh, if we'll, that we'll be able to determine if it's a really good fit or if we need to have a conversation about another placement, because we have quite a bit of placements. They also hired 15 former Quest teachers and staff. Karat says the next steps are deciding what to do with the two buildings which belong to Quest. She says as part of the merger, the district now owns the buildings again. They have some ideas on how to use them, such as a dual language school. Karat says they will eventually discuss the possibilities with the Board of Education, but for now their priority is ensuring Quest students find success in their new schools. Karat says hiring and retaining staff remains a priority this year. She says the Grow Your Own and Teacher Ready programs have yielded good results so far. The Grow Your Own program aims to recruit and retain people from the Peoria community. Teacher Ready is available for people with bachelor's degrees who want to get their teaching certificates. She says this year they're launching a new apprenticeship program targeting people with associate's degrees. We're working with Bloom Board on that program, and so they will work on the teaching certificate. They'll do everything at home. I mean, sorry, at work. They'll ev All of the work will be, so I'll give them an extra hour, like a release hour where they can, you know, do, do their work. The program is available for teachers' aides and assistants employed with the district. Karat says international teachers continue to help fill staffing gaps. She says they have about 100 international teachers this year. The whole purpose is, you know, that they're learning from the United States education system, learning specifically from Peoria, and, um, and then they're sharing their culture with us as well. Lowering the chronic absentee rate is another district-wide goal. Last year, the district had a rate of 41 percent, according to the Illinois State Report Card. That's compared to 28 percent statewide. She says every school in the district has a plan to get that rate down. It's front and center because we know if the children are not there, there's no way we can impact them. So that's the first yeah. the first step in school improvement is in making sure that the children are there. Intervention for chronically absent students ranges from calling home to visiting students at home to create plans to get students back in school. We have Family Corps. We've subcontracted with them, an entity that provides sort of... Um, uh, homeschool facilitators, we pay for that. They're going out to the homes. So, um, yes, they, you know, they, they, so they have the data, they, and they know what they have to do. Karat says they're also hoping to improve academic performance. She says the district has set a goal to have 5% of students exceed in the IAR state testing for English language arts and mathematics. Last year, they had 2.7% for English language arts and 1.3% in math. But Karat says she is confident District 150 will reach those goals. For WCBU, I'm Cameron Cutinello.